The Nigerian Army has commended efforts aimed at improving the professionalism and operation effectiveness of senior personnel. The Army held its second seminar for career planning and management for Nigerian Army officers at the Army Resource Center in Abuja. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant Tuka Buratai, says the seminar is aimed at equipping the Army to effectively manage its cadre of senior officers. General Buratai says this will come in handy as it will expose the strengths of soldiers so as to help them operate at maximum capacity. This seminar will enable the department to interact with you and get helpful feedback that will enable you to reposition towards addressing the fast evolving issues in career management and planning, career management planning and military human resource management. Noting the significance of the Nigerian Army Women Corps, the issue of gender and career management has been introduced to make the seminar gender inclusive, balanced and rich in content. I believe that the nature of topics selected and caliber of resource persons invited guarantee both the presentations and interactive sessions will be educative and highly interactive. The theme of this seminar, career planning and management in the Nigerian Army as a means to sustaining professionalism and effective responsiveness in Nigerian Army <coughs> operations, quote unquote, is carefully selected to focus on career planning in a period the Nigerian Army is involved in operations against myriad of security challenges facing the country. At the end of this seminar, you will be better equipped to manage the career of officers in and out of operations with a focus on providing effective leadership for the men. Joining us in the studio is a public affairs analyst, Gwalaha Olujade. Thank you very much yes, for coming. All right. How effective do you think these uh, seminars are when it comes to improving the effectiveness of these um, officers? Uh, definitely training and development is something that should be welcome for everybody. So it, it probably does help. I think training helps everybody, even at the level of the uh, chief of army staff himself. If you go for the appropriate training, it will help. Do you think that we're investing more on maybe these officers than those that have been of service? Well, just recently we talked about fallen heroes, how um, their care is being taken care of, of their families rather. How would you rate our efforts at caring for families of fallen heroes? I don't, I don't think we're doing enough at all when it comes to that. Um, I filled quite a bit of employment forms in the United States while I lived there. There is no employment form in the U.S. that doesn't ask you to indicate whether you were in the military before. You know. And what that is supposed to help them do is to give certain privileges to the service, to people who have served in the military in the United States. And it, it, it is everywhere. But I'm not sure we have a structured approach to ensuring that the people, these people will leave behind. Even if they are not dead, some of them might lose limbs and become incapacitated. How do we ensure that from that point onward, uh, we have provisions for them to be able to take care of themselves and their family members, yeah, even, the, even the, their drugs? There's, there's they always have. the issue of the, the plight of the family, the children, as per education, uh, gratuity, accommodation, and all of that. It's a recurrent conversation every time we talk about soldiers and fallen soldiers and their welfare. Uh, what's your take? On that. One would, have, one would have thought that having President Muhammad Buhari as the chief, the commander in chief, would have helped resolve those kind of matters. As a former military person, he has a good understanding of how the system works and the state of all these people. But apparently, my perspective is there's a detachment, there's a disconnect between the officer Keda and the troop, you know, and it seems to see. The feeling is, if, if, if you look at the case of that gentleman that he was interviewed, the man who was sentenced to, you know, it, it's, 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 it's people who are on the war front. And then you were sentencing them to death because they ask a question from the officers. So you embarrass the officers, I guess, and the punishment for embarrassing the officer is, is death sentence. Uh, I, 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 I can't figure it out. We're not doing enough. We're not.
We know government cannot do everything per se. How would you rate the efforts of um, the NGOs and you know organizations when it comes to the welfare? You talked about the instance in the US where you have forms, organizations make some concessions for fallen heroes or ex-veterans. Ex, yeah. yeah, so how can we replicate that here? And how are non-governmental bodies playing in the game? I think somehow government is still the biggest player, including providing certain laws that encourage, or certain sort of, you like call it moral suasion, that encourages the corporate world to also get into that space. We <clears throat> see, you have the American Disability Act, for example. I'm just using that as an example. And corporate organizations in America are proud to tell you how many disabled people are in their employment is a, is a thing of pride that shows up in the financial statement. You know, though we need to get to those kind of levels, even with our military, such that the corporate world, like I said, the primary responsibility is from their employer. We create even the movies in Hollywood when they're talking about the fallen, the, about the American soldier, they are portraying very great light. Are, those, those things are not accidents. They are part of the entire plan to make the people see them in those slides. And the rest of us all over the world, we get to see them in those slides. So we have to integrate it in all segments of our lives that these are the people paying the price and they need to be celebrated. celebrated. Thank you very much for coming on the news. It's a pleasure.